Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me today on The Nerd Jock. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the exciting content we have for the future. Also, give us a thumbs up guys because liking our videos helps us out a ton here on the channel. But without further ado, let's get into the very exciting unboxing we have today. So if you joined us here on the channel for our unboxing of Thor's hammer from Love and Thunder, I had a little teaser for one of our next videos. And it was a package we received from Pepper. Yep, we received a package from Pepper and if you're into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and watch the Tony Stark Iron Man movies, you know what was inside the box that Pepper left for Tony Stark. At least, I think that's what it is. So we had someone send us this box here, and like I said, we have no idea what's inside, but from Pepper gives a huge clue. So I'm excited. I've been holding off on this package, waiting to open it. Let's get into it now. Nothing on top, just some black padding. Oh man, exciting, exciting, exciting. All right, let's get her opened. I want to be careful because I don't know exactly what we have here. Oh man. Oh man, is it what I think it is? I don't know, it's still covered up. It's still unknown to me. We have another protective case in the inside here. I wanna be careful with this because this is glass. This is a glass enclosure here. And then, yep. <laughs> oh man, it's exactly what I thought it was. Oh man, I was looking at getting one of these at one point. Oh, Woo. and I am a huge fan of Tony Stark, so this just, yep, it is the ARC reactor, uh, Tony Stark's original, uh, the one before he upgraded his ARC reactor in his chest, and um, he, I believe, basically told Pepper to trash it, or whatever do whatever with it and that's what she did she boxed it up sent it to him and but it's missing the main thing that she put on it there it is proof that tony stark has a heart man i am just loving this i'm, I'm just amazed right now um this is amazing how the detail that they put into this. Man, I'll have to uh, get a link from where they uh, purchased this at for me. But um, yeah, that's, man. Let's get it turned on. It looks like we have a, a USB cord, power cord here to get it turned on. Um, let me do that and um, I'll get back to you guys. Oh my goodness guys this has got to be one of the coolest damn things i've ever seen um i've seen many like of the arc reactors and um most of them of course don't light up like this they're just um you know for display um well as this one is i'm sure you can find a way like if you wanted to use this cosplay to put it in like a uh uh I know a lot of people do their own builds of like their Iron Man suits and this would work perfect for it. But this has got to be one of the coolest damn things I've ever seen. Man, I am super stoked to have this in my collection. It's gonna look perfect in, um, it's gonna look perfect in my glass case with all my other Marvel collectibles. Um, the details on it, uh, if I were to compare it to the Tony Stark 
the actual one in the movie, the prop, uh, it's it's pretty spot on and it, it looks pretty nice. Uh, let me give you some close-ups here of it. pretty damn cool um, so while I was uh, piecing this together I went and looked uh, to see where you could get these from I can make sure exactly from who sent me this I'll ask them where they uh, got it from but I just did a quick Google search on it and I had seen some on Amazon actually and I think that's where this one came from not a hundred percent positive now I know there are some more, I believe I had seen it on Amazon for a um, hundred bucks. Um, they ranged anywhere from a hundred dollars to a hundred and thirty dollars. Now I know I had seen some really nice ones as well on Sideshow and if you know anything about Sideshow they are a little bit pricey on there. Anything on there is a little bit pricey because I mean all their stuff is pretty legit. I've gotten quite a bit of things from the Sideshow and um, I have never had any issues with Sideshow. All their stuff is to perfection. Um, you know, all their, I have some hot toys from there and everything looks wonderful. So as far as their collectibles like this, I know they're going to be legitimate whenever I purchase something from Sideshow. Um, like I said, I know you can pick one of these arc reactors. They have several different ones on Sideshow and uh, they range um, anywhere from 300 to above but um this one looks nice uh it, it this one looks very legitimate it looks like the real thing it looks like the prop is right here in my house um like i said i'll have to get some more information from where uh, it came from um i'm pretty positive it's the one from amazon um according how it came packaged and everything uh the ones am from amazon say like from pepper on there and stuff so um super excited to have this i'm glad to have shared it with you guys hope you enjoyed this um i know i know i'm gonna love to have this in my collection i'll have to put it next to a uh, tony stark statue or something i also noticed uh that when i tapped it it had like a uh, pulsing uh you can have it to where it pulses so if i yeah, so right there, it's, uh, I don't know if you can really tell on the camera, but it's like pulsing. Um, it goes in and out to like uh, the blue and then into like an orange. So that's really neat. And then if you tap it again, it turns off. So that's a really cool feature to have if you're going to have it in the display. And at times you don't want it on. Um, you just, instead of having to go in there, unplug it or unplug it from where you have it plugged in. Because it is uh, a USB cord. And then it plugs in, of course, it has a hole that goes to the bottom that connects and um, plugs out. But yeah, I thought that was a really neat feature to where, you know, you just tap the glass, one for on, one for pulsating, and then once again to turn off. So it's just a light tap on the, the glass here. And uh, the, ca the, the case and everything is very nice. Um, but yeah, guys, if you are interested in getting one of these, I will have the Amazon link below. Like I said, I'm not positive that's where this came from, but how it was packaged and everything came to me, I believe that's where this one's from. And also, you can go check out the ones at Sideshow. I will have a link in the description to the Sideshow website, as well as a link to the Amazon. But other than that, guys, just wanted to do a short video. Uh, unboxing this like I said I had been waiting to unbox it with you guys here on the channel hope you enjoyed please stay tuned for our next videos and don't forget to like and subscribe until the next one see you guys later